a vascular necrosis of hip MR evaluation. Introduction uh, AVN it is defined as cellular death of bone due to loss of blood supply because of any reason. The pathophysiology of uh, vascular AVN is not entirely understood but various factors causing AVN has a common final effect of loss of blood supply to the affected bone or a part of it. AVN of the femoral head is more common than other sites presumably due to uh, combination of precarious blood supply and high loading when standing. The risk factors include trauma, alcohol, corticosteroid use, pancreatitis, sickle cell disease, infiltrative diseases, radiotherapy, renal transplantation, and Kaysen disease, etc. The objectives of uh, this evaluation is to analyze the role of MRI in evaluation of avian of femoral head and to analyze the risk factors associated with development of avian of femoral head. Um, Materials and methods uh, used uh, that is a prospective study of 50 patients who were diagnosed to have avian of femoral head clinically and referred for MRA of both hip joints to the Department of Radiology and the Medical College Vishak. Um, patients were scanned on 1.5 Tesla GE MRA machine using pelvic coil. The sequences, the sequences selected were T1 coronal, T2 coronal, steer coronal. T1, T2 axial, steer axial, steer sagittal, T2 sagittal. Uh, the pa patients giving informed consent uh, to, to be part of the study or included in this study, and the uh, patients who are a clinic, uh, who uh, whom there is a clinical suspicion of AVN, and patients with unilateral or bilateral groin buttock thigh pain deformity of limitation of range of hip movement and the traumatic cases clinically suspected to have avian patients who refused to consent patients with non avian causes of femur thigh or knee pain and patients with contraindication to mr imaging uh, that is uh, that of patients with ferromagnetic implants cardiac pacemakers claustrophobia etc are excluded from the study um, in, in our evaluation, 13% uh, uh, of, uh, of the people belong to female and 37% and 74% uh, are male. Less than uh, 20, uh, um, 6 patients are of less than 20 age group and 8 patients are between 21 to 30 age group. 14 uh, patients between 31 to 40, 7 patients between 41 to 50, 6 patients between 51 to 60, 7 between 61 to 70, and 2 patients are of more than uh, 70. Um, in our evaluation, um, uh, 16 cases are of unilateral and 34 cases are of bilateral avian. In this evaluation, the most uh, common location to be involved it is anterior superior, uh, followed by anteromedial, and 14% uh, 14 cases are complete, and only the most common risk factor studied in this evaluation is alcohol followed by trauma followed by corticosteroid and the last cases video and last causes mm, fica coming to ficat and alert stage one that is bone marrow edema uh, this is the coronal steel image showing bone marrow edema involving the femoral head and neck with uh, minimal effusion in FICAT and ALET stage 2, there is geographic area of altered signal intensity and double line sign. This is T1 and T2 coronal images showing geographic areas of altered signal intensity in the left femoral head. And this is the T2 coronal uh, weighted image showing double line sign that is hypo intense rim. It is uh, uh, there is hypo intense rim and inner hyper intense line on T2 weighted coronal. 
This is the coronal T2 image showing cortical collapse and flattening. Uh, this is MR image uh, showing Ficat and Arlet stage 4 uh, showing secondary osteoarthritis changes. This is T1 coronal and T2 coronal image showing loss of uh, articular cartilage and marginal osteophytes and uh, joint effusion. Um, in our study, um, one case uh, belonged to stage 1 and 43 case, uh, one person, uh, 43 or of stage 2, 23% or of stage 3 and 17% or of stage 4. Uh, double line sign is seen in 69% of cases. Bone marrow edema is seen in 58% of cases. Joint effusion is seen in 49% of cases. Reduced joint space is seen in 29 and contour loss is seen in 45 cases. There is another staging called Michel staging based on appearance of center region signal bounded by low signal rim on T1 and T2 weighted image. Mitchell staging A, it follows the fat signal that is uh, it appears uh, the central region appears T1 hyper intense and T2 intermediate. This is uh, Mitchell staging A showing T1 hyper intense and T2 intermediate signal intensity and it is bounded by hypo intense low signal, um, low signal rim. Mitchell stage B um, it follows subacute blood signal. It appears T1 hyper intense and T2 hyper intense. Mitchell stage C follows fluid or edema signal. It appears T1 hyper in, T1 uh, hypo intense and T2 hyper intense. Mitchell stage D follows fibrosis signal. It appears hypo intense in both T1 and T2 images. In our study, uh, 17 patients are of uh, stage A, 31 are of B, 12 uh, patients are of C, 24 patients are of D. Total study population we, uh, uh, we have uh, included in this study are of 50 patients. In those patients, 37 are male and 13 are male. And male uh, with male is to female ratio of 1 is to 0 0.35. Most of the patients, uh, that is 44% of the patients were between 20 and 40 years. Bilateral avian is seen in 34 patients and unilateral in 16 patients. The most common risk factor is alcohol consumption. Most common location is antero superior surface of femoral head. Most common stage of avian was found to be stage 2. Ficat and Arlet. The most common MRI sign is in studied in this case was double line sign. Finally, the analysis of the case on the uh, case cases on the basis of Mitchell staging showed that out of 84 femoral heads, stage B was the most common stage seen in 36.9 per, Conclusion, MRI is indispensable for the detection and accurate staging of avian because it can clearly depict the size of the lesion and estimates of the stage of the disease can be made. MRI facilitates better response to the treatment since avian can be diagnosed at an early stage and therapeutic measures are more successful the earlier they are in. These are my references.